Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol VDRM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this one on Friday, but want to get things updated here as the bears made a, a pretty significant move. Now, I'm not going to say that they're in total control, uh, but this quote unquote move that they made all revolves around the pink line here, the 200 period simple moving average. Even if you have just a surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period moving average and you know that when the price is above it, from a bullish perspective, you want to see the price stay above it. And today the price did indeed drop below it. And now you can see it is acting as resistance, which is uh, you know a foundational rule in charting, which states when former areas of support. So you can see here did a good job of acting as support are broken. They tend to act as resistance. And as I already pointed out, that's exactly what's going on here, it's acting as resistance. Now the good news is it's not like the price closed all the way down here and, and totally you know separated the downside of it. But as it stands right now, that was a, a big step in the in the bearish direction. And you know, am I saying like I said that the bears are in total control? Uh, I'm not saying that, but the one thing that definitely needs to be watched going for further is, is the price gonna separate further and further to the downside of that pink line? The easiest way to look at that essentially is the further the price separates to the downside of the, the pink line, that's just more and more evidence that, yeah, the bears are indeed not only taking control, but gaining that much more momentum in doing so. But as it stands right now, the price is still very close to this pink line, so it's not like it would take a, a huge effort to get back up above it. And that would put, you know, that would change the, the landscape of the story, just doing that. But as it stands right now, price is below that pink line and you don't wanna see it for, fall any further uh, you know, below it. If the, uh, in the event the price keeps on falling, uh, then the next very, very important level, which I believe is where the price bounced off of today, right down there at 0 .028. 0 0.028 was a previous breakout point right there. And again, this just goes back to a foundational rule in charting when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And so far so good, that's exactly where the price bounced off of today, which makes perfect sense when you look back here through the history of the chart. So yeah, the bears made a, a, a significant move today. Are the bears in total control? I'm not gonna go that far yet, but you definitely don't wanna see the price separate any further the downside, downside, there we go, of that pink line. So we'll see what happens. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.